We had a few ideas that we were working from that we felt were important. Um, creating a movement was uh, one of our ideas, and I'll talk about that first. So we have um, a lot of space that we kind of added in here to get the community involved and get to get the community to support the ideas. So we have a gym and a community center that the community could be a part of. We have a stage um, space, a music space. And then over on the other side, um, she'll point to that, we have a lot of outdoor. Actually, do you want to speak to that? We have um, <laughs> this sort of like everything at once <laughs> was appealing. Um, so the community could be involved in like the windmill factor and the solar power factor as well as the wheelchair accessible path that accesses the whole place with, including the pond with the understructure and the windows that you could see through which has a, a community pool over here with lap lanes and a ropes course that is, is multiple um, exercises. <laughs> Um, which also, you know, it brings it all around to the, the, to, you know, outdoor, indoor, you know, bringing it around this whole main structure, which is the educational part. We, we also felt that the community could use, um, that community courses could, could also be held in the, in the school, like an art course or a cooking course, things like that. Um, and then one of our other um, aspects we felt was important was to emulate a museum and form follows function, kind of, we kind of lump those together. So we have, um, let's see, we've got kind of a main direct instruction area here and a teacher's collaborative space where teachers have their desks in a room together so that they can collaborate. Um, and then we have, you know, kitchen space, kind of a domestic area and <laughs> that the um, the sound music uh, gym cafetorium space would also have a Guggenheim like spiral accessible to all wheelchaired peoples, but would also provide multi viewing levels um, so that you could be raised and uh, interact with that space and use it as walls for the museum. And so we felt that it would be important to have time for students to um, have their own time to explore. So this whole area is kind of our exploratory. So we have gardens, we're growing food, we have some chickens. Oh, and somebody added um, some sheep there. <laughs> and um, we have um, art space. We have a little cave for people, um, for students to go when they just need to chill out and not have um, too much sensory stimulation. Um, the kitchen, science area, art space. What's over here this again? This whole thing is uh, transparent. The, the all of the all the whole the whole the whole building is clear. Um, that you could see through it, and um, all of the the light comes in, but it's closable. It's able to get dark. So this is a, this is you know a, a lot of things happening all at once. Oh, and oh. And, and um, sliding glass walls. So we were really big on flexibility of space, having furniture that could be moved quickly, easily, and you could reconfigure um, to whatever you needed to do. So. Is that about and, the, and including also um, all the different furniture functions, like uh, props to Dieter with the trampoline over here and the special spindly stools. We really liked the idea of flexible furniture, so every piece of furniture was on wheels um, and uh, like hinged so it could be collapsed and folded in the side and opened and wheeled around. Um, but as well as like plumbing was a pretty big thing for some of us. <laughs> so, so you could have stoves and plumbing so that that could be a flexible use space too. I think that's about it. I think we covered it. <laughs>